once could be an accident. A few times, you know, perhaps inherent risk. But how many is too many serious injuries caused by people falling into an Albuquerque city dump? For investigator Brittany Costello discovered hidden hazards are part of the price we're all paying for convenience. Eagle Rock is Albuquerque's busiest transfer station with a lot of moving parts, heavy machinery, and some would argue plenty of room for error. Last year, a customer fell into the pit. He lost consciousness, but no one noticed. In fact, a loader operator scooped him up, pushing him into debris near the pit ledge. A harrowing experience Lawrence Gonzalez knows too well. We highlighted his story in December last year. Eugene Gonzalez is his son. I, I've never seen my dad that bad, that much in pain or, you know, anything like the swelling and just how banged up he was. Gonzalez was unloading brush in 2019 when he was pulled into Eagle Rock's surge pit. A fall, he says, ended up costing him everything, his job, his home, even the ability to get around. It's tough, like it's, it, it bugs me a lot, like emotionally. Just like his, the stories told every year since then read like a picture book. Gashes, broken ribs, fractured face bones. We found more than a dozen reports from Eagle Rock. She went down head, you know, on her hip and then head first and she just laid there. And, um, you know, her, she, had a, she had a cut on her eye and um, there was a lot of blood. Peter Conlin's wife, Louise, fell into the pit in April. Simply put, he says she lost her balance. You can see her here in the bottom corner. That fall put her in the hospital for a week. She spent even longer in rehab. It had nothing to do with the pit or the, the situation there from my perspective. Others, though, do blame the city. We found half a dozen lawsuits filed against the city and the solid waste department, many blaming the pit design and the lack of safety rails, something the city's two other facilities do have. Keith Gordon is a local engineer with extensive expertise in waste processing. Are the railings safer? I would consider them probably to reduce fall hazard, but at the same time present other different hazards. The city paid Gordon as an expert witness for one of those lawsuits. He submitted a report on Eagle Rock's safety conditions, hitting on the question around safety rails. Federal regulators require them for pits deeper than four feet. It's a designer preference, but okay. I, I would start looking at that at over two feet, 24 inches. The depth at Eagle Rock is just over two feet, but Gordon believes it's safe the way it is. What if safety railings had been there? Do you think she would have fallen in? You know, if, if there were safety railings there, that probably would not have happened. But I don't know how convenient it is to try to get these boxes up over a railing. Convenience versus safety. Some of those lawsuits argue the city should pay more attention to education and training for pit employees. Specifically, in Gonzalez's case, the driver operating the loader failed to honk while scooping the debris, hitting branches, and knocking Gonzalez into the pit. Personnel records we got from the city after our December report show that driver had a history of accidents while operating the loader. Just months before Gonzalez's accident, the driver pulled another customer into the pit. Even though he refused to sign a document outlining safety obligations, the city kept him on the job and behind the wheel when Gonzalez went down. We've reached out to the city numerous times to talk about safety here, as well as the taxpayer dollars used to fight and settle these lawsuits. The Solid Waste Department still refuses to talk to us. Maybe the pit, as it is, is safe enough. But that just means those lawsuits could very well keep coming for the city. For now, it's just the price of doing business. Brittany Costello, 4 Investigates, 